specs from Weber. We had a guy come out and uh, stucco the outside of this wall. Uh, that turned out really nice. Here it is smooth, and then here it is with the stucco coating. Uh, once it's painted, it looks just like the house. It looks like it's always been there. Uh, so that was uh, relatively cheap, about 100 bucks. We found a company doing stucco nearby, and they just brought some mud over and, and did it for me. So here's the sink uh, dry fit. Uh, the granite guys are here cutting the granite template. They build a uh, wood template frame all the way around. This was a neat process. I got to participate in this whole process and, uh, and make little changes to how the granite would be right on the spot. So that was great. Uh, this was kind of a complicated curve and to get the egg perfectly centered, uh, that was quite a bit of work. Um, and then of course, here's just the little area over the fridge and the garbage can. And I had to uh, move these outlets. You can see there's a space under here. Um, I had to chisel the stone out and move them up. You can see here better. Uh, moved them up about an inch and a quarter. And that was to get them centered on the backsplash. It was a lot of work, but uh, it, it had to be done. I, I should have done it right the first time, but after the granite guy came out, he, he was the one who uh, you know, showed me how they had to come up about an inch and a quarter, all of them. So you can see this space that I just filled with foam. Uh, and then one more pour. So these were not perfectly level, uh, and there was some other errors I needed to correct for. So I went ahead and built uh, new forms. You can see it's higher here and almost flat here, and, uh, and poured a new form there, just skim coated it and then also skim coated this one and the one on the other side of the grill. And here is my backboard that I bolted to the wall to support the granite. You can see here's the form to keep everything going level. And then I skim coated uh, this wall and this wall uh, to keep everything uh, perfectly level. So now we're pretty much ready for granite. I painted all this area back here black. Uh, and then this is the base for where the egg will sit. And I also painted this area black uh, so that when the garbage cans open, if you're in the pool for instance, I don't want to see any wood uh, if you're looking up in there. So I painted uh, the edges of this black and that turned out to be a good move because uh, even though it's unfinished concrete, once it's painted black it, it really kind of finishes it. And along here you can see I painted this black which is where the ice maker goes. I also painted, uh, we'll go back uh, one, I also painted um, the insides of these with a uh, mil mildew resistant beige paint, kind of brightens it up, makes it look finished, it's better than just the finished concrete look. Oh, and then this outlet here I installed, I brought that up off an existing outlet. Here is some backboard here to support the granite, and you can see all this fresh concrete. This is now completely ready for granite. This will be a door. This will be the ice maker. This will be another door. Here's another view, ready for granite. And then I put lighting and everything, uh, which is switched. And that was just kind of a might as well. Uh, I figured if I ever wanted to look behind there, it would be nice to have lights, so I went ahead and installed lights. Here I'm beginning to lay the base under the egg in the travertine. I leveled it with mud and then uh, travertine this whole area. I won't be able to get to this once the granite is done, so I had to finish it. And then I uh, took a patio stone and travertined around it. Uh, and that, uh, that uh, finished the base for the egg. Here we are at the granite factory laying out the granite. You can see they're cutting it. Here's the bar top. Here they are at the house, ready to install it. And here they are putting it in place. Here they're cutting the floor outlet for the rotisserie out and repositioning that piece. Uh, this was a really interesting process to watch. Uh, it's amazing how everything fit uh, really perfectly. Their templates were spot on. Uh, so here they are finished. And as I was mentioning before, this side burner was a really good idea because it's perfectly level and uh, you can put, you can use this as additional counter space if you need to, if you're not using the, if you're not using the burner. 
and with the limited counter space that we have, we've used that quite a bit for counter space. Here's the area over the fridge and the garbage. Here's this back area. We have uh, drop down shades. So this bar top area could not exceed out past the wall. Uh, the other one, because of this opening here, the other one we just had the drop down shade stop at the bar top. This is a view of the bar top. This outside wall hasn't been painted yet. And here's where the travertine uh, st started, just covering the whole thing, uh, mitering the edges, uh, and then just working my way all the way through. Here it is, uh, prior to treating, I put a, a stone sealant on it, which made it much darker, uh, which is my wife and I wanted uh, much darker, a much darker finish, so that accomplished that. Here's the sidewall area. Here's another view, and see how that vent just kind of, uh, it's not as obvious with no border or anything on it. That worked out pretty nicely. And then I put this stone uh, base around it, gave it a little bit of an extra, and it also is a very close color to the granite, so it kind of framed it out. It's a real pain to cut. Uh, each one of these is cut at a 45. <clears throat> Here's this area where uh, I keep the uh, grill parts. And then here's some corner around, which is also travertine, which I shaped on a sander to cover this seam. Here it is prior to staining. Here all the uh, base is installed. The doors are, are just dry fit. And then here's the uh, area that's been uh, sealed versus the area that has not been sealed. So you get an idea of the difference. And here's some views of, uh, of pretty much it, it nearly done. Oh, here's that wall that we painted. You can see that now looks just like, you know, it's always been there. Here's the side. Uh, of the refrigerator, that vent that was installed. And then here's kind of a close up, uh, and you can see easy, easy access to the egg. This has worked out really well. Uh, plenty of air in there uh, to get that egg to work properly. Um, I built these uh, pull out drawers. They slide out on hinges, they completely slide out uh, their entire length. I store uh, wood and cleaning supplies and charcoal uh, for the for the grill, I mean for the egg in there. Um, and then this area here is just a little piece of aluminum that we finished the back of the grill area right here. You could see the wall and it just looked unfinished so aluminum uh, worked perfectly. Um, here you can see that floor outlet right here. You just pull back on this lever and it uh, pops that so you can have electricity there, works out really nicely. And then I uh, stained these to match the handle on the egg, stained them nice and dark, and then uh, filled this with a stucco fill product, and then uh, painted it uh, so it, it looks seamless. And then here's these uh, pull-out drawers, uh, pretty much finished, ready for stuff. Uh, buckets, uh, everything happened to fit absolutely perfect, so got lucky there. Uh, I keep mostly uh, wood and, and things, and here's charcoal and a different type of wood for smoking in the egg. And they can seal up real tight. And then this area has been really great to keep the pizza stone, the place setter, an additional burner, uh, really just whatever I want uh, that's going to be dirty and should have plenty of uh, open air. Um, this area here uh, has been a great area. Uh, it just needs to be vacuumed out every once in a while. And then uh, this shelf here, uh, I keep some of the other tools uh, that I use with the egg. The ice maker in the fridge turned out really nice. Uh, we put a fan in here. We don't have an exhaust fan, so that kind of blows some of the smoke out when we need to. And then I put a finishing stainless angle right here on the edge, only on the fridge side because uh, it, it just, it, it needed some extra piece there to make it look right. Uh, we built a custom garbage can to go into the into here because only a half size would fit and the bigger garbage cans uh, wouldn't fit, so uh, we just built something 
And uh, that's pretty much it. That's the finished product right there uh, with the covers on it. Here's uh, another view. Uh, this is a bathroom and uh, came out really nice. This is certainly a project you can do on your own. You can see we've got drop down hurricane shade. This keeps the area clean. This is a bamboo rug that we found on Amazon. And that, uh, that's it. That's back to the first slide. So uh, hopefully if, if you're looking to, uh, if you're thinking about doing your own project and you think it's uh, not something you can tackle, um, it is. This was uh, just time consuming, but uh, nothing that you couldn't watch on YouTube and figure out how to do with some simple tools um, and, uh, and really on the cheap. We saved, I would have to say, at least 70% on the contracted price uh, complete. We, we, we came in at 70% under what a contractor uh, quoted us. The most expensive was the granite. Uh, because we, we really couldn't do that ourselves and the least expensive was the concrete. It was actually cheaper than lumber at maybe a maybe 79 cents a block um, and uh, So I hope this video encourages you to uh, do the same project uh, It was a lot of fun and we're really enjoying it a lot. Thanks for watching